Hello, welcome back to Bandar Sushi Live Loading. In this episode, I'm gonna try um, something um, interesting. Basically, I'm gonna try to do like a live uh, impromptu um, captioning. So I made a like a really short animation. Hello there, welcome back to Bandar Sushi. So just Enjoy like a, this live loading. Just like a really short movie, and that's um, I will be captioning that clip using blender uh, so i have a couple of tool basically i will um, switch to video editing and here you can see here there's a simple subtitle editor and this is the add-on that i'm using currently and this add-on is kind of interesting uh, and you will see uh, later as i am uh, captioning the animations so first of all, there's a little bit of bugs, some, uh, but I think the developer will fix it at some point. But basically, I will I will need to um, import um, the subtitle first before I even start it. And let's just import something. And there you go. This one will actually generate uh, some kind of markers. So there's a start and the end. Don't worry about the text. That's uh, something that I will replace. Um, I can actually delete all of them. Um, I can start with a hello there. And let's import our video first of all. Shift A and get the movie and go to the desktop. And I think, what is it called? MSJV. MSJB. There, okay. I imported the video. Hello there. Welcome back to Blender Sushi. Enjoy this live. Hello there. Well, so this is gonna be 640 by 480, and this is gonna be also 60 frames per second. So it's already correct. And I'm gonna save this real quick. Um, An emoji subtitling. For this one, I'm gonna do like a little bit of manual work for the subtitle. Uh, so as I'm, so this is the plan. Basically, we will use this uh, simple subtitle editor. This is an add-on. I'm gonna delete this guy and then gonna run this and then at um, as it is running, I will create some markers. Hello there. Welcome back to Blender Sushi. Enjoy this live noting. So there you go. I already so first one. Hello there. I will enable audio scrubbing and AP sync frame dropping. And also for the audio here, I will turn on the wave uh, draw waveform. Hello there. So hello there, that's the first sentence. Hello there. Welcome back to Blender Sushi. So that's uh, gonna be the second sentence. I found this uh captioning is quite fun actually. Welcome back. Welcome back. Maybe maybe welcome back will be um one sentence. Welcome back. So we'll come back and then to Blender Sushi. To Blender Sushi. <clears throat> Welcome back to Blender Sushi. Enjoy this live noting. Enjoy this live noting can be a single sentence. Enjoy this live noting. So we don't need the last one. So just, you see the markers for, um, based on this simple subtitle editor, the markers have the, the beginning and the end. Welcome back. So it's almost like an animation and we, you cut it into pieces and then now we can start uh, adding subtitle. So once this is done, the idea is uh, of course, we can export it out as, uh, as a new subtitle. So let's save it here. I just copy paste the same 
subtitle file and hopefully this works because sometimes it's a uh, sometimes it doesn't export out properly 915 so I think this actually works hello there welcome back to blender sushi enjoy this live loading so we have the subtitle uh, based on these markers um, and this is um, based on the workflow for simple subtitle editor so the next one the, the next thing I did is actually I'm using another add-on it's called subtitle uh, load subtitle to VSE by Gabriel Montagni Gabriel so this one will actually generate the subtitling so import subtitle and then just grab the subtitle and then here you go so we have the subtitle already so it's actually quite simple and fast and now we can use node editor spare chalk add-on and then we start to um, kind of tweak the text very quickly so select one of the tags and then you can you know play with the size and things like that but I just need to look at the the data there bpy.data.scene sequence editor sequences all sequence editors so I will use object ID selector and this is gonna be the scenes and then set object object ID set and have a look again I forgot sequence editor sequence editor don't forget the underscore sequences all sequences all this one this one is the tricky bit you need to use this uh, notations to get all the, the text so from the scenes go inside the sequence editor and then grab all the sequence and then also the next thing you want to do is to filter it out just get the one with a text and then another one is to sort it out object ID sort by name so now we have we have these four texts and then all we need to do next is to we can set the color and things like that font size first of all font size we can use float actually font size is actually integer so integer plug it in now we can control the size of the font the color white it doesn't work with this emoji so i will i will control the color real quick the color will use the color in use alpha hsv on so now we should actually it's, uh, let's check color okay should be working um, what's the error message no data pass into objects oh it needs to be objects so that's a mind state so now we can control the color this one so the text cannot be too big something like that and we can now control the position location one so object location one float value hybrid so it can be in the middle but I just put it there hello there welcome back to blender sushi enjoy this live noting so there you go um, hello there welcome back to blender sushi enjoy this live noting so this is a yeah so that's a, the whole setup there and then if you want to kind of randomize the color you can do that as well use a random number frame goes into the seed this one's gonna be a float value between 0 and 1 plug into the queue live noting now we have this weird color okay hello coloring. there welcome back to blender sushi enjoy this live noting there's one more thing that we can do we can bake it out to bake out 
any animates uh, to make out any attributes I have uh, actually like a special trick um, basically if you have any attributes you want to keyframe on every frame you just right click and then add this into the keying set so that's the first thing you want to do and then and then you click on the button keying set and that will create a keyframe just copy paste this command bpy.ops anim keyframe insert and I will be using animation nodes here and this is the this is the trick very interesting create a script and then for that my script text you just paste it in paste it in the script and then create the script there. so if we are doing it properly you will see in the in the graph editor back to blender sushi, back to blender sushi. enjoy see this guy now keyframing the color on every frame for how many frames we have 390 so you gotta Hello see there. welcome back it's to very, very interesting it's pretty enjoy cool enjoy this live noting so that's baking the animations coloring for the captions once that's done you can really like go to node editor and delete all and save as delete this guy and delete uh spray choke as well delete everything you don't have any nodes anymore welcome back to blender sushi supposedly the animations uh, already being generated i might be wrong animation so there you go i think that's a king set graph editor okay so that's the color it's gonna be changing for every frame let me check again that's an rgba okay so normally this is not actually possible see like it's not animating there, but it's actually animating here. Yeah, if you render this out, this uh, the caption is gonna be changing color on every frame. So that's pretty much the whole trick right there. So hopefully you enjoy this uh, quick trick to do like a live subtitling or captioning uh, for animations. This part is still kind of manual, but you can see the uh, uh, kind of like the whole procedures. And if you are using other surfaces to maybe convert a voice into subtitle, it will be much easier actually. And maybe that's something we can do in the future. But yeah, I think this is kind of interesting. So I want to share it with you. Hopefully it is useful and let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.